what up what up what up what's good with y'all as y'all can see we are already on the go just got off work got bae with me but yeah she's uh sick right now but i'm bringing her with me because um hopefully she's gonna be a good luck charm for today so today we plan on finishing up the g35 and hopefully getting this thing tuned if all goes well I will be driving this car home tonight. To update y'all on what happened last time we went to the dyno, the reason why we didn't get the finish was because um, when we did the smoke test, it indicated that we had a leak at the intake manifold. So currently the intake manifold is out right now. The place that originally did it, they ended up shipping it out to have somebody else fix it, whatever. Um, so I will be having the intake manifold back soon, but for now, we ended up putting the stock intake manifold on. Smoke tested it, doesn't leak, swapped the throttle body, and now the car actually uh, idles better. So I had Ray from RZG send me over the unlock tune file because what was happening before was we, went, we were having um, Ray from RZG remote tune it and then Ant from Hybrid Works was running the dyno. And then while I was at work uh, last time, my boy Jamar went there for, um, you know, just to make sure everything was cool. If anything needed to be fixed on a dyno, he was taking care of that because I've used up like hella PTO on the 350Z for, you know, days I was going to get dynoed. I would take the day off fuck with the car and it's like we had a bunch of failed attempts at that shit and it just wasn't working so um i decided not to use pto for it i just didn't want to be around for anything getting tuned vq but anywho since then uh race into unlock file that way we can actually make adjustments to the tune that was on there so we're going to use that as a base and then i'm going to be having kyle finish it up uh i don't know why i didn't think of doing this a long time ago because kyle does have up rev but it, it like never crossed my mind. But um, it's basically Kyle's the dude who did my SE tuning or the SE boost controller tuning. Lawrence is my original tuner of the SE, but Kyle also is like my, my secondary uh, backup tuner. Uh, he's the guy that's gonna be tuning my LS3 and he's gonna be tuning the 300ZX. Today, Kyle's gonna be finishing that up. We're just gonna be revising the RZG tune. If there's anything that needs to be corrected, Kyle's gonna take care of it and just make sure everything is streetable. Uh, for this car, I don't really care about the power. I'm not tripping off of it. The car should probably make if my guess is right between 370 and 410 horsepower who knows i don't i don't care but um i'm just trying to get it done that way we can drive it so hopefully by the end of today we'll have some dyno clips and then maybe a first drive on this thing but hopefully all goes well i have a lot of faith in kyle that's why it's going to kyle but doing it this way i eliminated like a lot of the you know the middle people on it and then i it's just more of a convenience for me because i can always use brett's dyno i always uh, dyno my se there and you know he's a uh, he's like damn near like one of my sponsors so anytime i need to use dyno it's cool and then kyle's always open to you know tune it so from a practical standpoint this is like the best solution i trust kyle 100 percent and plus like i said i can always use brett's dyno for any time i need dyno time so versus trying to match up with everybody else's schedule because i know ant is always busy with tune so it's kind of like I wait and pick but at this point I just can't you know I can't wait I'm trying to get this thing done ASAP so we can have a car to drive but anywho enough with the updates on what's going on let's get into today you sick you look like Kaka look like a zombie right now I am a zombie we'll just start we'll just show cheeks the whole video <laughs> you can't see my cheeks look at that look at that squish Feel like a SpongeBob. SpongeBob. <laughs> All right, let me grab a titty. Hopefully, 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 she's gonna be a good luck charm today. She's never been around for the 350 Dino. Um, none of them. So we're gonna try something different. You think you know, it's gonna work today? You gonna be my good luck charm? A combination of my SC tuner, or a com combination of my my personal tuner my good luck charm and just good vibes that's what we're hoping for <laughs> so we're just getting here to brett's cold as shit out here and i'm just waiting for the g35 to uh, to get here my boy jamar is having his boy deliver it that way we can get started and for those that are probably worried about like oh man hopefully we don't have any belt issues we ain't planning that today this time instead of running the hd belt i decided to get the rpm gates belt and this is especially for supercharged cars i personally like the green belts because they stretch a little bit better but uh, i guess this is you know the ones that the hellcat dudes and all the supercharged dudes that ford and all that shit run so we're gonna get us a try thing that sucks about this is this belt is like damn near 60 bucks so it better fucking work if uh if if we need to put this on 
What up, dog? Hey, what up, Mike? What's good, man? What's good with you? You here chilling? Yeah, just chilling. G35 just arrived. Time for the fun stuff. What's up, fool? How you doing? Good looking, good looking. Right? So the cool part about this is so far every single time I've had a car that went on this dyno we've always had like a success rate like right now we're probably like 7 and 0 with no no fails on this dyno so far so as far as the 240 went the SE went like everything was always successful when we went tuning on here so hopefully we keep the streak and we get rid of the VQ curse by throwing it on here. Come on, girl. Go rub your car for good luck. You gotta rub it or else it's gonna blow up. <laughs> it's like, don't jinx it. Nah, it's gonna be good. It's like basic bitch model and stuff. It's not you. You don't do this? Oh, that's the first time you heard your car go through the RPMs. How you feeling? Hopeful. Hopeful. <laughs> Sounds good though. Yeah. Probably gonna make it quieter though. Probably gonna change the mufflers. It's a bit raspy, loud. Kyle's still working on it and getting everything dialed in.
and here we go. All Dunzo. Finally. Yeah, Dunzo, Dunzo for today. Still got some things to figure out, but for the most part, it's uh, it's drivable driving home. But we still got to figure out that surgeon. The surgeon still, it's still there. Uh, can't fix it in a tune, so he's thinking it's something mechanical. But at least we get the drive home. Didn't blow up, so I'm happy I can I can get the car back. Look at that, no oil on the ground. Nothing, no leaks at all. No rods on the floor. When the car wasn't running, this shit was working fine. We got tail lights. We got tail lights. light on every fucking 350z and g35 has the airbag light flickering and then my washer fluid but other than that everything is cool this was trying to race and shit i think it's gonna be cool everything's hella smooth and shit out here so almost to the house uh to wrap it up just got back towards the house uh right around the corner just filling up gas right now uh, surprisingly, since we got the car, I never even added gas to it or anything. So I don't even know what fuel it, that was in there when we tuned on it. But we did have a um, we had a little issue with 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 it knocking up top. So maybe it was just due to old fuel or whatever. So we didn't really tonight wasn't really about the power. We just wanted to get it driving, drivability, everything cool. So obviously I made it all the way back home. It was smooth, but the bushings are fucking like the bushings are shit. So the car's like all over the place. So it does need the bushings replaced. Um, I think right now it's probably at like seven pounds. Uh, we did one power pull. It was like 343 or something. But uh, since then, you know, we pulled out a bunch of timing and everything to compensate for the knocking. But I'm gonna put it uh, now. I'm putting in some good 91 in it. So we'll um, see how it runs on here. Probably take it back to the dyno in a couple days to see if uh, you know we can figure out the surging issue and play with it a little bit more. But for the most part, it is running it's cool um when it's all said and done on 91 car should probably make about 390 to 410 which was kind of like what i had made before at the same pounds overall i'm just happy to have it back finally got something like almost done and complete and running so how you feeling late huh you tired look at that was the hell loud on the freeway i couldn't hear it yeah it's pretty it's not that loud like it doesn't drone too bad either surprisingly on the outside it's pretty loud but on the inside the blow valves hella quiet so i mean it's it's cool like i i like i like nice simple clean not too loud still got some things that we need to do to it but close first thing tomorrow though need to wash this thing this shit is filthy hella dirty Nigga, damn! Jesus Christ, took $62 to fill this shit up? Man! I'm sorry, laughing at Damn! I'm sorry, Ken. What you laughing at? 
Because the price, uh, you do know about them. Man, see this, $62? That's why I'm laughing about Damn. Let me borrow a dollar. I'm trying to get a cup of noodles. Can I borrow two dollars? At least it'll make it, it'll make it 60. How you going to get that, son? <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, we're going to call the night and we're going to uh, wrap this video up. Say bye. Bye. Hug me like you love me. Squeeze harder. Harder. No. <laughs> Farted. <laughs> I've been going too crazy, these niggas too shady, speed limit 65, I'm about to do 80, fuck the niggas say no, I've been on the come up, you can go to speed, but it's better if you run up, you can ride with a nigga, but I'ma give you a choice, if you really wanna holler, then I'ma give you a voice.